KDE, like a lot of other desktop environments, it makes it fairly easy to change your wallpaper if you get bored of your, your current one. Um, but it is manual in nature. That means you have to go into the wallpaper folder or wherever you store them. You uh, look around and you think, oh, I like that one or I like that one. And once you uh, pick one, it's, uh, it'll stay there or you pick another one, etc., etc. So it's a very manual task. Uh, basically, you keep the wallpaper until you're fed up with it. But say, for instance, there was a, an easier way of doing it. One which would uh, do it itself, basically. Uh, and that's what we're going to show you in this video. And that's via a tool or an application called Variety. I've just uh, got it in the favourites there. And I'm running this on KDE, but I should imagine it, it works on GNOME and Mate and uh, some possibly, and let's say we caveat some possibly window managers. Uh, we'll just read uh, what it says here. It says, Variety is an automatic wallpaper changer. It rotates your desktop wallpaper on a regular basis using local images or images downloaded from various online sources. It runs quietly in the background. To control it, click on the icon on your system tray. It says, Variety is open source software. It's created by Peter Levy, uh, a software developer from Bulgaria. If you like it, please donate. Now, please take some time to get your preferences. Okay. It says, before we start, here are some things you may need to be aware of and agree to. Variety is an open source application provided as is without warranties. By using it, you agree the terms and conditions, blah, 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 blah. Variety is an internet-connected application with default settings. Variety downloads images from the internet. Um, you can disconnect the internet if you wish, or you disable the internet from this. It says, uh, it fetches and applies rate limiting settings defined by the development team. This may affect the rate at which it downloads new images, but it helps ensure variety can work regardless of how many people are running it. Uh, some use, uh, some image sources require us to track additional information when enabled. For example, the terms of Unsplash require us to track and report. So if you don't like that, don't select Unsplash, or if you feel a bit queasy about the uh, internet thing, then you can disable it, which, uh, which we're not going to do on this occasion. So uh, accept and continue. And you, by default, you're presented with this uh, nice looking laid out uh, application. Uh, you can use internet or disabled internet there. Uh, you can set at rich, uh, the rate at which the wallpaper is cycled. Uh, minutes, seconds, hours or days. It's set to five minutes at the moment, but we'll change that. Uh, change wallpaper on start, so you get a new desktop every time you log in, or, you know, just leave it as it is. The default sources are your favourites folder, your fetched folder, which we'll be looking at these later. Uh, any folder with your shared background, Flickr, APOD, which is NASA's astronomy picture of the day, Bing, Earthview, Nat Geo, and Unsplash, as we said earlier. And you can... Oh, that's pretty cool. You get a little... A little preview of the pictures as they're downloaded, just at the bottom of your screen there. Uh, not from Flickr, I don't think. I don't know whether you need to be logged into Flickr, but we won't use Flickr. Uh, there's your backgrounds in your shared backgrounds folder. It's a lot quicker because it's your local storage. Your fetched folder and your favourites, because there's nothing in them, both of them at the moment. Uh, some from Bing. Uh, Bing usually, I, mean, I don't use it as a, uh, a search engine, but it's um, has some decent pictures. So we'll we'll select Bing. Uh, is there no news Bing? Yeah, probably. Uh, the next one is, ooh, it's Earthview. Um, that seems to be coming through from that. So it's a Earth non-view at the moment. Uh, no, we won't bother with that. We've got Nat Geo and Unsplash, which we won't bother looking at. I'm just going to create a folder now, so um, I'm going to call it Wallpapers, and that will be our Fetched and Favourites. We're going to combine them both, not have two separate things. So we've just changed the Favourites uh, folder to the Desktop Wallpapers folder, which we just made. And it's going to select Bing. Uh, maybe select a pod. Ah, oh. you select one and it makes it one disappear, which is interesting. So you can't have... Okay, maybe... Well, anyway. Uh, I'll select Bing again. Oh, okay. Hmm. And, uh, yeah. So we'll have a look at the wall wallpaper tab. You can uh, auto-rotate the according to EXIF data. You get to various display mode configurations. Uh, zoom to full screen. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
you can fit within screen with uh, pad with black, fit within screen with blurred background, uh, and it's slower, well, well, because it's having to process the uh, blur. You can change the setting for Norman Martes. So uh, we're going to have a look at the the effects. Let's have a look. So we keep original. Obviously, it's not going to change it. Grayscale. Okay. That's, uh, I like that. That's that's very artistic. Um, heavy blur. Uh, you know, I don't like that because what's the point in having wallpaper? Uh, soft blur, which I think is the Ubuntu default. I'm not sure. I've read somewhere. And that's pretty cool. Oil painting, which... No, it doesn't do it. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll also like that. Pointillism. Is it going to do this? Ah, oh, it did it. That's kind of, uh, that's funky. Whee, still doing it. And, uh, pixelate. Oh, cool, yeah, I suppose. Having pointillism and, uh, no, still not doing it. Pointillism and, and light blur is the, I think, my favourites on this one. Soft blur. So, uh, yeah, that's all very nice. Uh, you can have quotes where random quotes can uh, pop up on your desktop. I've got one there. It says people will buy anything that is uh, free, probably. I don't know what the rest of it is. You can change the position and uh, how many times they pop up on screen. Change the font size, the opacity. Uh, all various all things like that. I'm not, And you can actually change where you get the quotes from. Uh, I'm not going to bother with quotes. But it's still pretty good, if you like it. Uh, a clock. I've got a clock on the screen anywhere. So I think we'll try this out regardless. Where is it? Oh, it's the bottom right hand corner. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah, it's hidden. Well, it's a little bit better. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and here's a, the empty desktop next door, the other monitor. Uh, a much better view. Yeah, okay. Although I wish they had a, a, an analog one. That would be a lot better for me. Um, okay, so we've got downloading. Uh, oh, they need to change that anyway. So if you see a picture you really like, and I've changed it. If you see a picture you really like, um, oh, look, monitor clipboard for image URL. That's cool. You can download it and save it to that folder. It's like the pictures at the bottom I'm looking at here. Uh, I like that one, that's nice. And if I want to save it or favourite it, um, go up to... Do you know, look at this, this is good, isn't it? It actually gives you the name and information about it. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, um, copy to favourites, which will be that new folder that we made. And there it is. Yeah. And just to prove... There we go. I like that, That's that's good. And then you could obviously uh, use that at a later date. If you didn't want to use variety, there's the wallpaper that you liked. And clicking on where it's from, it will show you which source you got the picture from, which is uh, another neat trick. And these are like filters to um, only copy for the URLs of these particular ones in your clipboard. Uh, filtering, if you want to have landscape or portrait, uh, at least 80% of the screen, dark or light, if they contain a certain colour, or have XF ratings of at least four. You can customise your look and feel of uh, your little tray icon. So at the moment it's light. But if we change it to dark, and we have a look down there, it's a little dark icon, which, which fits in with the rest of the, the, the other ones there. We can change it to uh, number one, and as you can see, it's uh, number one. <laughs> I don't know why you changed it that, but there you go. Uh, you can change it, this is pretty neat, you can change it to the current wallpaper if you want to get a little, a tiny little thumbnail preview. And custom image or none. Uh, None I don't want because you don't know if it's running. So we'll change it back to uh, the dark one. Cool. I like that. Your favourite operations, you can uh, 
copy and move. What we did earlier, it says copy to favorites. You can change the, uh, you can change what that defaults to. And uh, login screen, if you want a login picture. If you've got like DM installed. But I use the old fashioned Star X, so it doesn't apply for me. There are some tips and tricks here. And of course, there's the, the details of the uh, Variety website. You can report a bug or request a feature. Or if you want to, you can send feedback to uh, the developer. There's the change log. And recently there's added support for KDE Plasma 6. And if you want to donate to the uh, to this worth, worthwhile little application, you can uh, donate via PayPal or Bitcoin, which, do you know, I've never used Bitcoin. I don't know how it works, and I'm not particularly fussed. So, there we go. Very nice. It is a handy little tool. I think I'll stick to the doing it in the manual way, but, you know, I'm also when I don't know how it reacts um, with a window manager, like Motif Window Manager. But, you know, it's good if you want it automated. It's got a lot of features in case you do. Yeah, it's a good little tool. Have a look. Have a play around with it and see if you like it. I mean, it fits in with GNOME, it fits in with Mate, and especially it fits in nicely with KDE. So, you know, what's there to lose? Anyway, who says that FreeBSD can't have the same toys? As Linux. Here we can. So we're just going to have a look now at... Um, I'm going to set the, the wallpaper to change every every five seconds. So we're going to change the wallpaper every five seconds. This will, uh, this will probably overload the system, but we'll see how it looks like. Just to give you an idea of the variety of pictures available. So yeah, a very nice tool. Check it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you like more than one video on my channel, then please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, please make sure you click that icon, you know, for the little bell thing, so you don't miss out on any videos when they're released. And uh, that really helps the channel more than you can imagine. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.